Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game and then check the controller. Still the controller is not working. The next step is to launch the game with controller connected. So before you launch the game, make sure that you connect your controller. So don't connect the controller after you launch the game, but connect it before you launch the game and then check. Next step is to disable or enable the stream input. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab and over here, try enable stream input, select it, launch the game and then check the controller. If that does not work, again go to properties, controller tab and then this time select disable stream input. So try both enable or disable and check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to use wired connection to connect the controller. So instead of wireless you can connect your controller using the USB cable and then if you want to go wireless then disconnect it after you launch the game. You can unplug the wired and then you can go wireless. But while launching the game, before you launch the game, you can use the USB cable to connect the controller and then check. So you can use the wired connection. The next step is to, is for PlayStation controller user, try using DS4 Windows application. So in Google, you can search for DS4 Windows. You can download this application from Google and then you can configure your controller and then use the controller. Next step is to, Disable Steam Input, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab over here, select Disable Steam Input and then go to Steam on the top, settings, then go to the controller tab. Now if you have Xbox controller, then enable Steam Input for Xbox controller and then check the controller. Now if you have PlayStation control, controller, First of all, try enabled option. If that does not work, you can enable in games W slash O support. You can try this and then check. Now, next step is to make sure you disconnect other external devices. So if you have external devices connected, like sometimes you have additional controller connected to the computer, disconnect additional controller. If you have any kind of additional USB dongle connected to the computer, disconnect it. Now, if you have any kind of VR headset, HOTAS, wheel connected to the computer, disconnect it. So disconnect all the additional USB adapter connected to the computer, which you're not using. Also, if you have any kind of virtual controller connected, you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game and then check the controller. Now, the next step is to launch the stream in big picture mode and then launch the game. So on the top right here, you can see the big picture mode icon. Click on it. And then you can click on the game. And then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.